Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today I have another organization video for you guys. Today I will be presenting how I have my closet organized, how I store items, slash my closet tour. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, do subscribe for these weekly videos I have for you guys on lifestyle and beauty. Any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave a comment down below. Any information you need will be in the description box as well so i hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned bye you guys let's go ahead and stop off we'll start off with our top shelf right here all i have here is this coach carry-on you can say um it was a gift for my fiance uh last year i believe and all i have in that bag is extra gym bags and extra extra carry-on bags so i don't have them all displayed all over the place and just looking like a hot mess i just throw them in there so they're neatly organized and ready to go moving on i have these two beautiful um portraits i have miss marilyn monroe and miss audrey on this side and a beautiful um chrome pineapple that i picked up at marshall's i believe for 9.99 and frames were picked up at ross i don't remember what price those were because i i've had those for like years maybe like 10 years i want to say moving on i have some bags right here i have a louis vuitton i have the small box where my wallet came and then i have this michael kors i do have the michael kors for extra storage i have things um, and they're neatly organized. So that's what's on the top shelf, you guys. Sorry for the chirping outside. There's like birds out there. And it's a beautiful day today in the Mile High City. So, yay. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the next shelf down. All I have here are these baskets, which I purchased individually at Ikea. I have had these for several years as well. All I keep in my first basket on this side are PJs. Second basket, I have gym clothes. Third basket, I have skirts. That's all that we have in these baskets, neatly organized. Moving on, on this shelf, I have an extra bag where I have storage as well. So this Michael Kors, I have extra items that I need to be put away. Um, and I just keep that at hand right there. On top, I have this Coach Travel Makeup bag that I have also a gift for my fiance. So I have that there. So if we do travel, I can just grab that. And then back here, I have my MAC. Um, it's like a carry-on for like the freelance. I did purchase that um, last year and I have it sitting there for whenever I need it. I know where it's at. All right, so moving down, we move on to my handbags. So this is how I keep my handbags organized. I love this storage system because they're neatly organized. They're in their place and I see where they're at and if I need one, I can easily find it. Um, I don't know, well, I did say neatly organized, but I don't know if I wanna say neatly because they look like they're kind of all over the place. But if you see them in person, they're really not. I can easily find what I need and go from there. I did pick up these racks at Ross for $5.99 a piece. I have had these for years, and this is how I've been storing my bags for years now. So I want to share with this, this tip with you guys. So to start off, all I have is some mini backpacks here, this mini Michael Kors I have sitting here. And then on the first rack, all I have are my um, crossbodies and several clutches. Inside my crossbodies, I also put um, clutches in there because it's extra storage. And then my pom-poms or um, bag accessories, as you can say. I have like bag accessories, charms, um, pom-poms. I just usually hang them here. And if I am looking for one, then I know where I can come find it, take it off, and put it onto the bag I'm currently using. So I use this as an extra piece of storage <laughs> for accessories. Second rack, all I have is bigger handbags, as you can see. I have some coach back here. I have some Lacoste. I have some guests. I have another BB mini backpack. My Michael Kors backpack. I have some um, bigger handbags back here. I have smaller handbags just with the strap. If I'm like on the go, I can easily just grab one of these, throw my ID, my money, my phone, and I'm ready to go. And more handbags. So that's all I have on the second rack. Back here, I have these totes. It's like, is anybody else obsessed with totes apart from me? So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I store back here. 
I have this first one, which prompts all I need is coffee and mascara. This second one, which prompts shopping therapy over here in the back. And then a third one I picked up from Target. So let's go ahead and show you what I have in there, you guys. Let's start with this one that prompts all I need is coffee and mascara, which I absolutely do. Speaking of coffee. And I like to add cinnamon on top of my coffee, so that's why that looks like that. But speaking of... So let's start with this first one. I did pick this up at Home Goods, I want to say, a couple months back. And all I have in this first tote bag, which is the one you guys saw, are my wallets on the side, neatly organized. I'm a big wallet fan. I love having the bag that matches the wallet or the wallet matching my bag. So that's all I have here. All I have are extra um, wallets that I occasionally use with my handbags. On this side, all I have is mostly Ipsy bags that I've received um, and that I'm not using at the moment. I have small individual clutches like this one that I don't keep at display. And um, I also keep my makeup bags in here. So in case I need a makeup bag, then I can just run back here and grab one to put all my makeup away, like so on. I also keep my travel makeup cases back here as well so these are just bigger makeup cases to go this is absolutely one of my favorite ones losing you hurt but losing my makeup bag would be a tragedy okay so that's all i have in the first one you guys all right so moving on to the second one this one i also picked up at home goods a couple years back shopping is my therapy this is what this looks like and inside of the second tote bag all i have are gift bags so that's all this is Neatly organized gift bags. If you have watched any of my videos, you guys would know that I'm obsessed with um, gift bags, just simple ones, because I use them for extra storage throughout my whole house. So I have these extra black ones, because in case I need one, then I know where they're at. I have like store bags here as well. I think it's much nicer, you know, if somebody forgets something or I need to give some something to somebody, instead of just giving them to, to them in a normal plastic bag, why not give it to them in a paper bag that looks a lot more elegant. So I don't mind um, keeping these store bags just in hand, just in case. I have extra, extra little bags. I have these um, gift bags that I got for Valentine's Day. So that's all I have here. And of course, like a makeup junkie I am, the most that I have are like the Sephora ones all over the place. <laughs> so that's all we have in this second tote, you guys. First, second. And then that leaves us to our third tote. This is just a mini one that I picked up at Target at the dollar station a couple years back for five bucks. Super cute, also tote, just much smaller. And all I have in this um, third bag are reusable bags. So like this one you guys saw in my Dollar Tree haul. And then I have some more like TJ Maxx ones, some Marshall ones in there. I These I got like at a 99 cent store. And all these are, are reusable bags. So I have these neatly organized just in case I need to grab one, I know where they're at. So this is practically what I have in my totes located in the back of my closet. Located over there. Right, so moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to this first shoe rack I have right here. I did pick up these shoe racks at Ross a couple years back. I did get two sets. So usually one set comes with this bottom bar and the second one. I picked up an additional set because they're stackable and stacked them right here and right here. Each um, sets of two were for $7.99. And I like this darker shade just because it goes more with my closet theme and color I have going on. All I have on the first ones are black heels. I have more black heels and some black wedges then we move on to the nudes also more heels more heels a couple wedges and these are just like different colored heels and some slippers that's it <laughs> next to that i have my suitcase this is currently the suitcase i've been using and i have this just sitting here just in case i need it then i know where it's at and it's not like all over the place we're gonna go ahead and move on to the second shoe rack which is right here all I carry on the top one are solid flats. Behind the scarves, I have work shoes. Underneath, I have sneakers. I have vans. I have more sneakers, more sneakers. And then this bottom one right here, all I have is shelf, um, shelves. And then I have sandals right here. That's all that's in there. 
moving on, I have right here my blouses and my t-shirts. As you can see, I mostly, mostly use black. I know. And then I do have them colored organized. So I have my blacks, my whites, my grays, my browns, my olives, and my rose golds. That's all I have here. More of neutral colors, nothing bright, nothing fluorescent. And I do have these and these velvet hangers. They're like velvet. I do buy these by multiples at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Ross carries them. And then as you can see, one thing I would personally um, recommend to you guys is to try to just have them like colored organized. I feel my closet looks a lot neater than being all black instead of me having like different colored hangers. I do feel these work a lot better than the normal plastic ones because these help your clothes just stay into place and they look a lot neater and they make, they just go with my whole house theme with this chrome and black going to them. And then right here, I just have these organized from like short sleeve to long sleeve. Same with my whites. They're like all organized from my short sleeve to my like t-shirt kind of ones. And then my long sleeves back here. Same thing with every other color section I have going on. So this is the bottom piece of my closet at the moment. Let's see, we have this middle section, and that brings me to the section on this end. So all I have back here is um, jackets and sweaters that I'm using at the moment. I did just do a spring clean recently, so I got rid of a lot of clothes I wasn't using. I feel that it's good to make those cleanings once a season, just because you can get a lot of things out that you're not using and extra space for things you will use. And then it helps your closet look a lot neater, cleaner, and everything practically in its place. So right here, like I mentioned, all I have is um, jackets and sweaters on this end. Right here, all I have is dresses. I did get rid of a bunch of dresses I wasn't using. I figured somebody else can use them. Somebody else can make good use of them and instead of them just hanging here. That's why I only have like the ones I feel I might use. So that's what I have hanging here. And then right here in the small section are my more fluorescent pieces of t-shirts. Just because this um, solid bottom bar, I decided to go with more neutral colors. Um, this small section right here is more of fluorescent shirts, t-shirts I have. Yes, I am a Bronco fan, you guys. I live in the Mile High City. I've been here for years now, and I absolutely love my Denver Broncos. So that's what I have here in these fluorescent sections, you can say. And then right here, I have a lot more of color, a little bit of color, and so on. So that's all we have there. Next section, all I have is my jeans. I do have two to three pairs of jeans on each hanger. So they're pretty solid hangers where they don't break easily. I know I had some other ones where I just put like two pairs of jeans and they were already like bending. So these were pretty good. I have just black pants here. And then this, um, these last hangers, all I have are like skirts, extra skirts that I do use compared to these, which I really don't. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and move on to this section right here. I have this rack, which I purchased at, I wanna say Marshalls. And practically the back of it looks like this where it has lots of sections to hang scarves. And right here, I just have my most used scarves the evil queen you guys so I have my scarves right here hanging on this rack neatly organized also coming down that's all we have here and then I have this back one which I purchased at Marshall's and this just holds all my belts so it's like the circular right here divided into sections and all I do here is just hang those and that's how I have all my belts neatly organized in their place so there we go, we have our belt, our scarves, our skirts, our black pants, jeans, colorful shirts, dresses, jackets, sweaters, blouses, t-shirts. We have heels, we have flats, sneakers, boots and sandals, suitcase. Uh, we have heels and wedges, handbags, backpacks, clutches and crossbodies. PJs, gym clothes, shorts and skirts, extra storage items, decor and storage, more decor, travel bags. 
That leaves me with my last part of my closet, which is my door. This is what that looks like. All I have here is this beautiful pineapple piece. If you guys saw my home decor haul, that's um, where that came from. I have a hat hanging here over the top, which I purchased at Burlington. I have two of my favorite bags, which is um, my Michael Kors, my Louis Vuitton, and probably like my most used um, crossbody. That's why I have this hanging here because usually when I don't want to go for like one of my huge purses, I'll just grab that one and throw the phone, throw keys, and let's go.